All right, what's up, Faith family? Jarvis God of Voyager SYT here, and welcome back to another diecast review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Wheels DMC DeLorean from the 2023 Hot Wheels The 80s line of cars. Now, this is the second car that we're reviewing from the uh, Hot Wheels The 80s line of cars. I guess I'll just say the 80s. I'm going to get a complex. Uh, the first one that we reviewed was actually a Cadillac Seville if I'm not mistaken, and that was a very nice, very uh, stately uh, station wagon. Just a, a very, very solid vehicle. It, it very much evoked the, the vibe of the 80s, and this particular DeLorean here is no exception. Now, right off the bat, I should say that this is obviously not the Back to the Future variant of the DeLorean. It's not the DeLorean time machine. I know that should be obvious to anyone with eyes or who's aware of the title of the video uh, when it comes down to it Hot Wheels did a really 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 great job with this car uh, they got the shaping of the DeLorean pretty accurate I mean looks pretty similar to shit all the ones I've seen on TV you never really see them in real life because with the weird history of these cars they didn't make a lot and so you don't really see them in real life so based on what I've seen on shows like friggin the Goldbergs and uh, well, not Back to the Future, since they modified that thing to all hell. This seems pretty accurate to how the car actually looks in real life. And in addition, the paint work they did here was absolutely fantastic. It's it's very, very 80s. That's the best way to describe it. It has that really, really nice sort of uh, stripe thing. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what it's called. I've done a couple of graphic design projects where I've done this, but you it goes from a lighter color to a darker color, sort of a gradation, but it's posterized. So it's uh, it's white, then I guess sort of a ugly yellow, then orange, and then black. Again, it's a gradient, but it's not done in a conventional way. You see that all around the vehicle, and it fits very well with the uh, dark blue body paint. And also back here, the way they did the rear window to really round out the coupe style. At the back here, it's ridged, but I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a really, really nice texture to it. And I think it's I think it's a bit translucent, too. You can't really see through it into the interior. If you want to see into the interior, just look in there, and you'll see nothing much to write home about, but I don't really review the interiors anymore. But I really do like the effort they put in on the back here, because the texture, I mean, not only does it feel good in the hands, but it also adds a sense of... A realism, you know, a sense of sort of practicality, like, okay, well, the rear window of the DeLorean has somewhat of a texture to it, so they added to the die cast to uh, really heighten the reality of the thing, you know, even though it's a toy car. And the wheels are also done pretty well. Uh, I am a big fan of the paint they used here. They didn't use the stupid glossy paint that comes off too easily. They used a really nice, maybe acrylic sort of thing, and it fits over the wheels very, very well. And uh, not much to write home about in terms of design. Uh, you have the Hot Wheels logo right here and right here, just inverted versions. And you have DeLorean right here in almost unintelligible text. Uh, there's so little just graphic shit on the card that I, I, I don't feel like I can take any points off or add any points on for it. Just because the striped sort of motif all around the vehicle, I think that's the main thing in terms of the body design. And I think they executed well, so that's what I'll judge it on. But yeah, man, I think it's about time to move it on into recommendations. And this car is an absolute recommend. And so, like usual with cars I review, there shouldn't be much of a scarcity factor. Although I will say that uh, with the two cars I own from the Hot Wheels, the 80s line of cars, I will note that the stores I went to, there weren't many cars from that particular line. I've seen many, many more green speed cars than I have Hot Wheels, the 80s. Because I've seen more than the Seville and the DeLorean. Those were just two that caught my attention, the ones that I thought would do well on the show. So just keep that in mind. But either way, man, I think that'll do it for the review. I'm very happy to be done because it is 1.18 in the morning. And this is the final episode that I'm recording uh, for the season. Uh, as far as I can tell, this will not be the season finale. Um, that honor belongs to Batman 2022 Batmobile review. I don't, I'm really not sure what to call that thing. Wasn't even sure what to call it in the video. Either way, man, I think that'll actually do it. I have a new host, Jarvis Godden. Thank God for watching. Stay tuned for more diecast reviews. Probably very soon. I was about to say, whenever they may come, but that's something for the season finale. No, I think there should be one within the next few days, because pretty much everything is filmed, waiting to roll out. So, yeah, man, thank God for watching. Uh, stay safe out there. Have a great night. Go with God. And as always, giggity, 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 goo. Stick around.